This video is brought to you by LogRocket, the front-end performance monitor that records videos of user sessions along with logs and network data, surfacing problems and revealing the root cause of every bug. Try it today at LogRocket.com YT. Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how you can type check props for a component. So firstly, we have this application here, which is a simple card that is displaying an image, the pizza type, price, description, and we have an order pizza bun. I want to be able to check the types on these particular props, and I want them to be displayed inside here, inside the console. And a way to do this is, basically, we can install a package called prop types. But before doing that, let's just take a look at this application. We have one simple component, which is a pizza card, which takes a prop of name, an image, a description, and price. And if I look inside the pizza card, it's just some simple compound components from React Bootstrap, so it's not too complex. It would take you maybe a few seconds to understand what's going on here. We're passing the image, the name, the price, the description, and then we just have an order pizza button. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and install prop types. I'm using yarn for this, so you can just do yarn add prop types. It's pretty much the same if you're using npm. And I'll go ahead and install that package, and it'll put that in the dependent dependencies package um, inside your package.json. Next, what we want to do while that installs, we, well, there it is, it's done, that was pretty quick. We essentially want to check the props that are coming through here on the pizza card. And one thing to note with prop types is this isn't going to be running in production. It's just a development package that allows you to develop and check against what particular props are coming down. So if we go ahead and just do input prop types from prop types, and that looks good. Next, what we want to do, we want to go ahead and check our props. So. Looking at our pizza card here, it's saying prop types is defined, but it's never used. Okay, that's good. We've got some awareness that now we have the package. So I want to check the attributes that are coming down, so the props essentially. And it's very simple. And there's many different types that you can check, whether it be a string, an image. Well, we're going to be, we're going to be checking the attributes, that is the name, the image, but we're going to be specifically checking for stuff like strings, Maybe an array we can pass down of toppings, and we can check that the toppings is actually an array. We can check for objects, numbers, and many, many other types. And if you take a look at the React documentation, you will see on reactjs.org, I believe it is, slash docs, slash type checking with prop types, you'll be able to see all the different types that you can check. So let's go ahead and just start validating this and see if we can add some prop types. So we'll just do pizza card because that's our component and we'll say prop types and set equals an object and we can start now by essentially wiring up our prop types to make sure that when a user or a developer passes down a certain type we can validate that it's a string so in this case we're going to say name we expect this to be prop types dot string likewise with the image uh, likewise with the description and there's some caveats if you wish to make sure that a, a prop is required we can pass is required just like that next what we want to do we want to do the price so we can do the price now this is a tricky one because I understand in many different languages you can pass a, a number or a string and with JavaScript it'll still display that and it'll make absolutely no difference to the user. So I'm going to say here one of type and that will allow me to pass in prop types dot number prop types dot string and I'm going to say is required. Next, I'm going to say toppings, which we don't have yet, but I want to be able to pass down an array of toppings. So let's go ahead and say prop types, array of prop types dot string. 
And there we are, you may get some squiggly lines if you're running the SLint. So it's a prop type image is not required but has no corresponding default declaration. So the way to solve this is we can add some default props. I'm not a huge fan of default props because I like to actually have a fallback and I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. we we'll say standard pizza here. So we have some default props, image, this pizza has no image. Toppings, well said, there we go. And here it's saying it's defined, but it's never used, that's fine. So let's go ahead and add toppings up here. And the reason I don't like adding default props is because it doesn't really do any much as opposed for as opposed to just telling you that that prop hasn't come down. I like to add a fallback like in here. So no matter what comes down, if toppings comes down or doesn't come down, we have a empty array essentially. That looks all good to me. So let's go ahead now and just play around with this. We should hopefully, there's no violations in here. That's good. So what happens if I pass down, say I pass a number. So the name will be a number. And then we get failed prop type invalid prop name of type number. Supplied to pizza card expected string in pizza card. Brilliant. So we have some validation on our props. And that's essentially just prop types right there for you. It, there's not much more than that. There's different types. Yes, you can check. There's all sorts of fancy different types, like checking that the object comes in a particular format or checking that a certain array has certain values in a certain way. But this is pretty much it. That's all essentially it is. And this is a very simple application that just it has one component, which is validating the props. Um, I do particularly like this syntax, though, where you can basically say, is it one of these particular two types? I find that very helpful when uh, validating because I want to allow the user to pass down either a string or a number, anything else. It's not going to happen because it's just not going to work with the application. So, yeah, that's prop types. Hopefully, you learned something from this and Feel free to add it to your application and let me know your thoughts. Does it work for you as a developer? Does it work for your team? Let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching.